The Railway Children. Chapter Two: The Railway Line. The next day, the children explored their surroundings. Their house stood in a field near the top of a hill. They saw a railway line at the bottom of the hill. Late in the afternoon, they went down to the railway. They climbed onto the top of a wooden fence and watched a train rush by. That was exciting. Let's go to the station. The children went to the railway station. There was a large pile of coal on one side of the station yard. A white line was marked on the wall behind the coal, near the top of the pile. The porter, a kind and friendly man, explained what it was for. It's to show the amount of coal left. So if anyone steals any, we'll know. The days went by. Mother wrote stories for some money, and whenever she sold a story, there were cakes for tea. Mother told them that they were poor, but the children found it difficult to believe they were because there was always enough food to eat. One cold day, when Bobby wanted to light a fire, we can't, my dear. Coal is expensive. That gave Peter an idea. He began taking some coal from the railway station. However, Peter was soon caught by the station master. So you're the thief. I'm taking you back to the station. Please don't take him to the police station. Why are you stealing? It isn't really stealing, is it? I took some coal from the middle of the pile and thought nobody would notice. We're too poor to have a fire, and don't. I'll let you go this time, but remember, taking coal from the middle of the pile is still considered stealing. <laughs>